chat me over there. Teddy back there. Uh, they were the bullies. To me, I have no idea what they were like in the rest of their life. They made them very kids. Um, but they used to like to be together regularly. And one time, they caught me on the playground uh, in the... My mind likes to say that they were in the But it was just, I think it was in the fall. It was cold, but it wasn't that cold. And they beat the shit out. And I was obviously not dead, I was obviously not serious with you, but I was bloody and I was kind of hurt. And my mother put me upstairs in the washroom and spread it. And I tried to explain it. When you're that age, you send them 25 bucks a week, and every week, like clockwork, they send me a fresh six pack of ideas. And believe me, believe me, on the grave of my mother and father, who was a really deep there's always some schmuck who comes up to me after and says, Can I have your dress? I got a call yesterday from uh, a little film company down here in the valley. And they're doing the packaging for um, uh, for MGM on, uh, not MGM, for Warner Brothers on Babylon 5, which I worked on. And I did a very long, very interesting uh, on camera interview about the making of Babylon 5 early on when Joe Spurzinski hired me. And they want to use it. A young woman calls me and she says, so we'd like to use it on the DVD. Uh, could that be arranged? I said, absolutely. All you got to do is pay me. She said, what? I said, you got to pay me. She said, well, every value for me is if you put money in my hand. Cross my palm with silver. You can use my essay. You can use my, uh, my, my interview. And she says, well, all right, thank you. And she hangs up. I'll never hear from them. They want everything for nothing. They wouldn't go for five seconds without being paid. And they'll bitch about how much they're paid and want more. I should do a freebie for Warner Brothers? What is Warner Brothers out with, you know, with an eye patch and a tin cup on the street? But no. They always want the writer to work for nothing. And the problem is that there's a goddamn many writers who have no idea that they're supposed to be paid every time they do something. They do it for nothing. Good, good, they're going to look at me. I'm going to be noticed. <laughs> but you tell me. Are they any less the media whore than I? I think not. They just haven't, nobody's offered to buy this. So, uh, I sell myself at the highest rates. The highest rates. I don't take a piss when I'm getting paid for it. I get so angry about this because you're undercut by all the amateurs. It's the amateurs who make it tough for the professionals. Because when you act professional, these people are so used to getting it for nothing. And for mooching, and for being able to pass off this bullshit, and they don't even send you a copy of the DVD! You know, you have to call them and say, where's the DVD? Well, it's been up. Said, well, you know, we'd have, you could go to the store and buy it. You could go to the store.